Morning everyone. Camel Cowboy Outdoors. Just coming along the driveway here. Checking a few sets as I come into the ranch. And I stopped here because I see I got a catch over in the trees. And there just happens to be a bunch of wolf tracks here on the road. But I'm pretty sure it's not a wolf. I think it's just a coyote. But let's go in and take a look at it. Would be nice if it was a wolf, but like I said, I'm pretty sure it is just a coyote. Yeah, it is a coyote and it's still alive. So, let me go get my gun to take care of him. Stay tuned, folks. And here looks like a pretty good looking dog. Good neck catch on them, right up tight behind the ears. Surprised he's still alive. He must have just got caught, maybe. Well, I'll take care of him and then we'll have a better look at him. There we go. This warming trend is just continuing here. It's like plus three today. Too warm for this time of year. Looks like a good enough looking dog. Good enough dog, for sure. A little bit of red belly. A little bit. But we'll do him up. His back is good. Like I said, a little bit of red belly on him, but... He's actually, you can see on his hind feet, he's just starting to get a little touch of mange there. That's probably why he's got the red belly, too. All right, I'll get him out of here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Maybe, maybe I can move this snare down this trail a little bit. We'll see. Stay with me. Hey, folks. You're checking my sets at the bait I got by Sandy Lake. I don't know. This seemed like such a good spot. I've had this bait in here for so long, and it's just not really catching on. I think I've caught how oh, I've caught three coyotes here. I don't know. Maybe maybe later on towards spring here it'll pick up yet. I've seen that happen before where bait's not touched all winter and all of a sudden it comes on like gangbusters and Oh, here we made a catch under the tree. And it appears it's a raven. I guess it was a bad day for you, you bugger. Good riddance. Just wasn't that smart trying to fly under that tree, huh? Just wasn't a great day for you. At least... At least I made a perfect head catch on him. <laughs> oh well, like I said, all I can say is good riddance to the bugger. You know, what What would make that bird decide to fly under that tree? Or maybe he was on the ground and just hopping along, I don't know. 
but anyways that's the way she goes so I'll get things reset well folks <coughs> still checking sets this is a real surprise this is a set I've had in for at least a month and it didn't catch and didn't catch and I thought about pulling it it wasn't on a real well used trail but it was kind of a secondary trail that the coyotes had traveled on earlier and I finally made a catch on it like I said it's been set for a long time It was just kind of a more of a bunny trail going through here than anything but the coyotes had went on it so I threw a ram on it and looks like he came in from that way hopefully this is a good one let's get the... looks good it looks really good oh yeah he's a little bit a little bit stiff already been caught for a while fur looks pretty decent yeah I think he's gonna be all right guys better than that last one with the shoulder mites pretty white belly good that's what I like to see all right, well, I'm going to get him out of here, and I think I will pull this ram. Like I said, it's been here for at least a month, and this is the first dog it's caught. So I'm going to pull it and set it somewhere else. I'm a little bit short on rams. I just ordered a, another dozen here. They should be here by the weekend, and then I can get them put out and maybe catch some more. This is good. I um just in the bush here off off to the meadow where we feed the cows and a few days ago I could hear ravens squawking back in the trees. So yesterday I came in to take a look and here this stupid cow got in here and got down over this deadfall and she died. So lots of ra or lots of ravens in here. And the coyotes have been trailing in here. And that wolf has even been in here. So yesterday, after I found her, I had a little bit of time and I came in here and I hung three snares. So I'd like to get some more put in, but it's probably not going to happen today because i got to go haul cattle to market. But, I checked one, and there was nothing in it. Here, here's one. Here's a catch. I set this yesterday. But this was on the best trail. Like, they had a really good trail coming in here. But I'm not sure if it's a good one. It looks pretty rough on the shoulders. Yeah, it's got the shoulder mites. As you can see. Look at that. There's no hair. It has the shoulder mites. Well, we'll get it out of here anyways. That's too bad. That is too bad because there's... Well, we'll try and catch some more because it seems like there's quite a few coyotes coming in here. I had it set right here, right on this trail. And we'll try and get it reset. Maybe we can catch some more. <laughs> Stay tuned, folks. Well, folks just checking sets and look what we have here we got mr. wolf 
It's a good day for the ranch and a bad day for him. Look at the feet. Look at the feet on him. This is the one I've seen two different times. Couldn't get a shot at him. Didn't have my gun. And, um, you know, he'd been just kind of hanging around. I caught his his mate there in November. And, um, you know, he was just eluding me and eluding me. And I was getting kind of frustrated, but it finally panned out. He's not a not a great looking wolf, like I don't think he's gonna be worth anything. He um, has the shoulder mites, so he's pretty much worthless as a pelt, but it's sure good to get him out of here. He won't be eating any more of my calves. I, um, I'll tell you, like with, with wolves, it gets a little personal with me. I um, can't afford to be feeding them my calves all summer. Last summer I found a couple of calves with their hind ends ripped up, but they managed to survive. But cows came in that had calves in spring and they came in dry, no calves on them. So we know him and his female had been eating their share. But what a good day. He's... Like I said, he's not a good-looking wolf. He's he's kind of a big, gangly, raw-boned wolf. Here is fur. It's matted. Like I said, he's got the shoulder mites. He's got the shoulder mites. He's, as a pelt, he's worthless. I guess I'll salvage the skull off of him. But what a great day. A bad day for him and a good day for the ranch. This, where I caught him here, is, well, what would it be? Maybe half a kilometer, well, maybe a kilometer, three quarters of a kilometer from where I saw those tracks on the road. So there's a good chance he just whipped in here and and ran into my power ram. If I can give anybody any advice about catching wolves... If you see them make a track somewhere, put a snare on it. Um, you know, I was having so much trouble. This guy, he every time he'd pass through somewhere, he'd make a new track. He wouldn't follow a trail. But I found in the past, put a snare on it, because eventually they will walk that same track again. I've caught him like that in the past. You know, this snare, he came through here. Oh shit, I bet you that was a month and a half ago he came through and made a track here and this was one of the last spots I expected to catch him. But we did. He um, decided to follow that track again. So there we go. Like I said, his pelt's worthless, but it's worth a lot to get rid of the bugger. Just so he won't eat my calves. Big old head on him. Well, I'm going to take him out of here. And, you know, have to see if there's any more around. All I've been seeing is just one lone track from this guy, but I haven't been up on my north line at all yet. And I would like to get up there and see what's going on up in that country. Maybe I can pick some more out of there. Anyways, thought you guys would like to see that. Maybe I got a little bit of time here. Maybe I'll go check some more sets. So, if I don't turn you on again, thank you for watching. And we'll see you down the trail. Well, folks, after that wolf, I said if I got time, I was going to check some more sets. So I decided to make the Sandy Lake Loop. And I came here and I caught a coyote. This is that spot. Um, 
I caught a coyote here oh, last week under that tree. There's a leaning tree there. And I moved the snare across this trail onto the other side. And like my friend Trapper Forever, he said, well, where you move that snare, it looks like you'll make another catch. And he was right. If any of you guys don't have Trapper Forever, check him out. Subscribe to his channel. He has a great channel. Um, he's just, he's a hell of a trapper and he's just such a nice salt of the earth, soft spoken guy. Check out his channel. You won't be disappointed. He is a great channel and it's not trapper forever. It's trapper forever. Check it out. But let's go take a look at this coyote. This has been one hell of a day. Three coyotes already. The wolf. And now here we got another dog. Another dog. Let's take a look. Let's brush them off. And every now and then you'll, you might not catch for a while, and then all of a sudden you'll have a hell of a good day. This looks like a nice little dog. Nice little dog. Nice white belly. Yeah, good. He's got all his hair. Awesome. Great little dog. Okay, well, I'm going to get him out of here and I'm going to fix this up. And there's not much damage here. I think I'm going to set it again in the same spot. Stay tuned. There we go, folks. Got it set up again for another one. And we'll go check some more. All right, folks, I just caught that coyote and nothing else. Um, just checked my last fisher set here. So I'm on my way home. It's been a heck of a good day. Four coyotes and one wolf. And um, hopefully we'll have some more days like that. But anyways, I wanna thank you all for watching. And please like comment, subscribe, and we will see you down the trail.